Sometimes in Fortnite, all right, you're gonna run into someone who basically, well, is better than you, right? And as time goes on, you know, players have definitely gotten better and better at the game. And sometimes it just, you know, it just feels like you can't keep up with some of them, right? And that's exactly why in today's video, guys, I'm so excited. We're gonna be discussing how you can outplay players who are better than you in Fortnite. So with all these tips that you need to really just set yourself up for success against these players, take advantage of it, all right? Bunch of crunch army, where you at? Here we go. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Woo! And let's get this going. Speaking of beating better players, all right, one surefire way to start outplaying better players is to simply spot your weak points and improve on them, which is exactly what our coaches on ProGuys.com can help you do. All right, guys, go check it out and get started. All right, guys, so the first thing that you want to know when it comes to fighting better players is the patterns that they tend to follow. So you can just recognize those patterns and really turn the fight around. You know, most high level players, let me tell you this, <laughs> are going to be extremely aggressive in fights, meaning they're always trying to be the ones pushing you, the ones getting shots off on you and the ones who have high ground on you. And that's why, you know, turning the aggression back on your opponent, no matter how good they are, can really turn the fight back in your favor. You know, typically, you know, a turn in aggression will consist of you editing out and trying to peace control them, right? Or just pushing out to take height. These methods both work in different situations, but they're generally what you'll do most. Okay, so another pattern of high level players is that they'll typically try to get a right hand peek on you. If you watch any pro player, guys, all right, you'll notice that they almost always right hand peek, whether they're pickaxing your wall or even when they're making edits on you. So recognizing this pattern, one option you have is to go for a right hand peek directly back on them. All right, let's say, for example, like you're in boxes diagonal from one another, right? Your opponent will often pick out your wall on their right hand side, right? But who's to say that you can't do it back? What you'll see a lot of pros doing, guys, is taking their opponent's wall for themselves whenever they get pushed like this and doing this technique here. And I mean, like right here where they edit through, place a cone on the floor and a cone up top and potentially you know, grab some walls as well. This is a really clean piece control play and can really result in some easy kills on even pretty skilled players. So overall, recognizing the patterns of high level players is absolutely critical, man. And by not only realizing what they do, but also determining a counter, you're going to see so much more success against skilled opponents. All right, so since we're on the topic of peace control, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's a good opportunity to really dive into peace control since it's not really a well understood topic for a lot of players. And it's one of the main things that you can really use to outplay even pro level players in game. All right, guys, so peace control is this like as a whole, literally, it just means controlling build pieces in your fights so your opponents can't escape or edit away from you. OK, so as you might expect, peace control is amazing in close range and pros like Young Kyle, who have mastered peace control, are the ones who dominate the most in this current season. All you got to do for peace control is really just build pieces and sometimes edit them, you know, ahead of your opponent. So you have control over the fight and they'll often get disoriented or mess up the play they intended to make. Okay, so a few examples of common peace control techniques include building a floor and a cone above an opponent who's building up to get a shot up, right? Getting a cone in an opponent's box to stop them from covering themselves or even small things like building a wall on top of a 180 to potentially get an edit play. But in conclusion, I'll say this. Practice your peace control, guys. Yo, it's going to be insanely beneficial. <laughs> so take some time, you know, learn them and any others that you can find that guarantee your gameplay is going to improve, especially against skilled opponents who are otherwise hard to beat. As well as for that, like if you're struggling to figure out your peace control, you can always book a creative session with a pro over on ProGuys.com who can help guide you through steps and just make the whole process easier. Guys, trust me, you want to do this. It's really going to help you. So save some time and check it out when you can. All right. ProGuys.com.
Okay, so another option when it comes to outplaying high level players <laughs> is to specifically analyze their gameplay, right? And just figure out like what they do that you don't. Commonly known as third person vibe reviewing, this strategy is amazing because, well, let's just be real, like pros know what they're doing. So who better to learn from than the players that you're trying to be like, right? So if you decide to vibe review a pro player, all right, you're gonna wanna look for, you know, specific factors in their gameplay, depending on what you're looking on to improve. Like since you're looking for ways to outplay high level players, like you're gonna want to primarily look for mechanical plays like building and editing techniques and outplays like those fancy 200 IQ trick plays like that they tend to pull out. All right, taking what you learned from your vibe review, you can just write everything down on a notepad and you know that you want to learn really and then you know you just want to make your way into creative and then there just put into action so the sooner you guys start taking action guys i'm telling you the better the result is going to be simply hop into creative and just start just grinding up everything that you learn and remember repetition is key as you improve and you get fluid with the techniques on your own like grab a friend to 1v1 and just prioritize using the trick against them and that way you're going to build the technique or strategy not only into your muscle memory but also in your usable memory as well like you're going to be able to apply it in real games so overall learning from probes is one of the most effective ways to improve and quite obviously learn this strategy that the pros use man like so if you want to improve against high level opponents yo <laughs> start taking some notes alongside of that all right don't forget that you can always get a coach on proguys.com to help you guys out with whatever you need i know i said all the time but you know what i'm gonna keep saying it until you do it All right, all this stuff is great. In fact, you know, it's amazing for improving against high level opponents, but there's one way that's going to honestly outshine just about everything else in terms of improving against better players. And really, yo, it's just doing it. And that's because when it comes down to it, experience, it really is everything. Like it tops just about everything else that you can do, especially in Fortnite, where you can't just simply just pull out a playbook and just follow that every time. So the biggest thing that we recommend doing for you guys is to get some 1v1s against players you would consider to be above your level. Because adapting to better players mainly comes down to simply learning what they do and just how they counter it. And nothing does that quite like playing them, right? If you're trying to do this, we recommend doing realistic 1v1s in creative, which basically, you know, they replicate really a real fight as these are pretty much the most realistic form of creative practice that you can get. And, you know, we're going to put the code up right now for a map that we recommend by a YouTuber named Finest. And that's 7950-6306-4857. You got it? Cool. Okay, so in this map, you're gonna load in and be greeted with the screen. All right, start up the game and you're gonna end up loading into this 1v1 area, which is meant to really replicate a real spot on the map. And from here, and I mean like right here, you can really just play it however you would play a 1v1 in a real match. So the great thing about realistic 1v1s is how the materials are limited, right? So build spam isn't rewarded, weapons are meant to re resemble actual loadouts you're gonna be using, and everything is basically built to be like the real game, which is so cool. In fact, all right, some maps have things like slurp barrels and extra loot as well to really just like, you know, kind of spice it up a bit and make it resemble the real game even more. Okay, so if you're wondering how you can actually find the people to 1v1 against, I know you guys ask me all the time on Insta, so here you go. Look no further than the Pro Guides community Discord. All right, so in this server, not only do we have chats where you can just look for people to play with, but also tons of giveaways, custom scrims for you guys to play in, an area where you can just suggest videos for the channel, and so much more. It's awesome. So if you're looking for teammates or anything else that I just mentioned, be sure to check it out in the link in the description, guys. All right, outside of our server, you can also find decent players in scrim servers like East Open, EU Open, Atlantis, and FNPO. Or you could just simply ask people you know to 1v1. Either way, like finding good players to 1v1, it's going to help you guys tremendously in terms of like adapting to the strategies. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. But as a recap, we discussed some methods that, you know, you should be using to start outplaying better opponents, right? Like first, we discussed how you can recognize and abuse different patterns high level players use. Then we went over peace control, which is obviously amazing and some awesome techniques that you can use related to that and how you can effectively study pros to learn their tricks and strategies. And finally, why and how you should 1v1 good players to not only improve your general mechanics of fighting ability, but also specifically adapt to things like high level players so you don't end up falling victim to them. Because as you know, not much beats experience in this game. All right, guys, once again, it's your motivation guy. 
That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it. And make sure to sub to the channel, man, because we got so much more great stuff coming out just like this. You know, we're inching closer and closer to 1 million subscribers, which is seriously is going to be a dream for all of us. So make sure, man, to be a part of that dream by, you know, spreading the word. And uh, also, check out ProGuys.com along with our ProGuys community discord, both of which we're going to be linking down in the description. And a uh, bunch of crunch, Charmy. Keep eating that bunch of crunch. Woo! And let's get this going.